Okay, so in this video, we're going to learn how to create an awesome parallax effect using Photoshop and Adobe XD. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome parallax effect using both Photoshop and Adobe XD. So we'll jump to the screen now and get started. Okie dokie, so you can see I'm now in Photoshop. I have this document here, this piece of art that I've created. Well, I've not created it. This is actually from Adobe Stock. The original looks something like this. It's pretty awesome, but if you want to create this kind of effect, what you're gonna need to do is find an image and try and dissect it into different pieces. So if you have someone on top of a mountain, for example, maybe you have the mountains in the background, they're gonna be one layer. You're gonna have some other mountains that are a bit closer on another layer, and then maybe the subject and the cliff edge on another layer. So it's just figuring out how you can dissect different parts of the image and then put them on their own layer. But I'll go through this now and show you how I did it. Okay, so this is the original. So if I just delete this, you can see I've had a little go at recreating this here. I'll turn everything off. So we have the background, that's just a radial gradient. We've got this ring here. If I just expand this, you can see it's got a wind smart filter just to kind of blast that to one side. I've then got the subject and the rocks on a separate layer. You can see if I hide this layer mask, we have the original image. So really quick cut out there with the quick selection tool. A few levels adjustments, some rocks. We've got lots and lots of rocks and inside here, they've got Gaussian blur on all of them. I varied the blur depending on how close or far away they are from the subject. So I tried to vary that a little bit. We then have some fog, which is just simply a Photoshop fog brush. That's very easy and then a few different effects here and a gradient. Okay, so this is the main file. What I did afterwards was duplicate this and try and create like a streamlined version that I can then import into XD. So if I jump over here, this is a flattened version that I've got. Now XD does a pretty good job of handling all these different types of layers, even some adjustment layers, when you open up the Photoshop file in XD. Yes, you can do that by the way. But what I've done just to make things even simpler is just rasterize all of these different elements onto their own layers. So we have the radial background with that gradient. That's absolutely fine. We then have the ring. I've just kind of rasterized that. So all those effects are just kind of condensed into one single layer. Subject and rocks, that's all good. Rocks, again, just taken that folder, converted the whole folder to a smart object, then rasterized it. Fog, fog was all good to begin with. And then the same with the vignette and the gradient. And I've locked these top two layers because the vignette and the gradient, we don't want those to move position. So once you've done this and you've kind of taken your image apart and rebuilt it on different layers, just save it and then open it in XD. And if I click on this, you can see we have all those layers brought in there, which is fantastic. The gradient and the vignette are still locked. I will actually just turn these off for the moment. So the first thing I'm going to do is just double click on canvas and we're going to give this a name. So we'll call this before parallax and then press command or control D on the keyboard to duplicate this. And we'll call this second one after parallax. Okay, so if we switch over to prototype mode here, what I'm going to do first of all is just create the auto animate animation. So I'm just going to click on the artboard itself, or this could be a button, whatever you want to activate the animation. And just click and drag to the other artboard. And then we've got a tap trigger, that's absolutely fine. We could have a time delay if we wanted, whatever you'd like your trigger to be. The action is of course auto animate. And then we can choose some easing. Now ease in, out or snap are usually pretty good ones. We'll go with ease in, out. And the duration, I think one second should be good. And then once I've done that, I can select the second artboard and just link that back and it remembers all those same settings. There we go, that's all set up. And because I'm bringing in this PSD file from Photoshop to XD, all the layer names, they all come as well. So by duplicating this artboard, I know that my layer names between those two artboards, they're all good because XD needs your layer names to match so it can figure out which bits to auto animate. If your layer names don't match between artboards, you're gonna have all kinds of problems. Okay, so now back to design mode. 
what I'm going to do is actually click on this first one and we're going to move some stuff around. So the fog, I'm going to shift this and bring this up a little bit so it's going to come down slightly. I then have the rocks. And if you have trouble selecting anything, by the way, you can actually just turn off other layers that are on top or you can just select a layer, hold shift and use the up, down, left, right arrow keys to move things around. So I might just hold shift and move these rocks up a little bit so they kind of come down. And then if I just zoom in, we've got the subject in the rocks here. I'm just gonna move those down a little bit. And then the ring, well, I could move this into a different place as well, but I'm actually going to scale this down holding shift. And it kind of, I think it would be pretty cool to have this coming from the subject's hand. So I'm just using the arrow keys to nudge this in place. Hold shift and scale down, or you can hold shift and alter option to scale to the center. So we'll scale it down nice and small. There we go. And let's just zoom back out. And what I can do is just play this up here. Just make this a little bit smaller so you can see. And then if I click anywhere, you can see that plays out. So the auto animation is working. That's really, really good. So I can just go back and turn on my other layers. We had that vignette and that gradient just to kind of enhance the color a little bit. And then I'll make sure to switch it back on on this layer as well. And then once you've done that, you can actually go in and fine tune all the different parts of your scene. If you want something to come in a little bit slower, you could maybe move it further away. If you want it to come in quicker, maybe keep it just outside the artboard. And then what I can do is go up here again, we'll play and we'll see the final version in all of its glory. Click. You can see that plays out. And then I can just keep clicking because they link to each other and it will play that parallax animation over and over and over again. And there we go. So that's how to create a parallax animation in Photoshop and XD. To be fair, you do most of the work in Photoshop. You find your image, you cut it all apart, you put different pieces on different layers, move them around. And then when you, when you import it into XD, it's just a, it's just a case of making it auto animate and moving a few bits around. So yeah, that's how you do it. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.